Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Carmona. As former Surgeon General of the United States, I understand all too well the hidden dangers of deep vein thrombosis, or DVT. As you'll hear in the following real-life stories, DVT is a very serious condition that, along with pulmonary embolism, kills more than 100,000 Americans each year. By creating this video and the entire This Is Serious campaign, we hope to make more people aware of DVT, along with its risks and how to prevent it from happening. If you experience any of the signs and symptoms detailed in the following video or throughout the This Is Serious org website, please seek medical help immediately. This is serious, and I hope you treat it that way. Thank you. My name is Caitlin Augustine. I was diagnosed with a DVT when I was 18 years old. During my freshman year of college, I was home for Christmas break. Um, after a routine tonsillectomy, I was on bed rest um, for about a week. And all of a sudden, I started experiencing these different symptoms to the point where I could not walk. I couldn't get out of bed. And uh, my parents were like, you need to get to a doctor. We really can't put this off any longer. We learned that it was DVT, deep vein thrombosis. And at the time, we had no idea what that meant. That was like a foreign language to us. They had me hooked up to the blood thinners, trying to regulate that. And they would just come in and out, saying that they didn't know if I would make it through the night, which was a really tough time for me and my family. It was a relief to finally educate myself and find out all the information and I think that's when the healing process truly started knowing that it was something I would have to live with but it was manageable and it's something um, that you know I'm just going to have to live with but as long as I'm alive that's all that matters. My name is Tracy. In 2001 I'm living in New York City. Um, I'm just starting my um, new legal job as a lawyer at a law firm. I started to get some pain in one of my legs, on my left leg, in the upper thigh. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm having this pain and it's kind of irregular, I'm not quite sure what to do, so I go to my normal doctor. Um, he kind of, he looks at my, my leg and says, oh, you know, you're fine, there's nothing wrong, you know, don't worry about it. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to keep going to work, and, and I do that, and um, in a couple weeks, the pain gets worse. They do a, an exam of my chest, and, and there they found um, something irregular. And they see clots that are in my, my stomach, my um, abdomen area, uh, and they've moved to my lungs. So I, I had a pulmonary embolism. The DBT and pulmonary embolism um, significantly impacted my career. I was um, out of work literally for a year of my life. Um, I had to take a step back and really figure out what's important in life. And during that time, my health became number one and not my profession. It's so important to learn about the signs and symptoms about DBT. Women especially need to know when you're pregnant, there's more likelihood for you to get a clot. The fact that you can have a loss of breath, you can have you know, pain and swelling in your leg, learn about it. Knowledge is power, it's important. This is serious. I'm Debbie. I live in Annapolis. I work in Washington. I had uh, pulmonary embolism in February 2008. I felt like I was having a Charlie horse, but this was different. It, it burned and the pain went from one leg to the other and I could not move. I literally sat up in bed and said, dear God, please don't let me die here. I was in the hospital for three, four days, and then they told me I would be home for six weeks. After I got out of the hospital, I started reading about the risk factors, trying to figure out what could I have done to know that I was at, you know, probability of getting this. Post hysterectomy, I was on a medication that really increased the probability of me getting something in the leg and ultimately in the lung. We had a couple long trips. We'd gone across country and there was a very large ice storm that delayed travel, so you're in a sedentary position for a long period of time. And then, of course, is the weight factor. My advice to women is to know your risk factors, know the symptoms, and get help because it could be too late. I'm really very thankful because I recognize that had I not survived, I, I would miss my daughter's wedding, dad's big birthday coming up, 
the activities with our family, all these things. I could have missed them, and I'm really thankful that I didn't. This is serious. This is serious. This is serious. To learn more about DBT, visit thisisserious.org.